Hey Click Designers! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Click Designs, particularly design pages, into ClickFunnels. So, you have to make sure that you have a ClickFunnels account, an existing ClickFunnels account, or maybe a free trial on ClickFunnels, and then you have to log in your funnel. You have two options when you log in your ClickFunnels account. Either you edit an existing funnel, or one of your funnel steps, or you create a new funnel. So right here, I have an existing funnel that I would like to edit, and I have selected the funnel step. But if you would like to add a new funnel, all you need to do is create a new funnel and then click on add a new step. So the idea here is you will add a new step on your funnel. So you have to type the name of the funnel step and the path and then you submit. And then right after that, you get to choose the type of template that you would like to use. Your screen will now load several templates. If you have existing templates in your account, you would see them here, or you could use any of the ClickFunnels templates. In this case, I would like to use one of the ClickFunnels templates, and I was just going to show you how it looks like. Let's just say I choose this one. If I click on preview, this is how the funnel looks like. So in these images right here, you can actually replace them with all the click designs, images, or mockups that you have in your account. And you could also replace the other widgets or other images here in this template. For this video, we are not going to use any ClickFunnels template. What we are going to use is an existing template that we have created here on ClickFunnels so that I could further demonstrate to you the different types of elements that we could use. So all I have to do is select that funnel step, then I have to click on edit. Now I have the page loaded and all the elements on this page I can actually replace. So let's start now with the background. Because we want to focus on design pages, I would like to show you the different elements that we could use from design pages. This has a pre-existing background, but what we're going to do is we're going to change it completely. So first we're going to settings and background, and then we're going to remove whatever settings or background image is located there. So I deleted that. Now let's go to Click Designs, log into your Click Designs account, then click on templates, then click on backgrounds. You have the option to create your own backgrounds by downloading backgrounds one by one right here. So you could use this and mix and match. So basically on one section on ClickFunnels, you could use this background. Another section, you could use this or this. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on themes and I'm going to select a theme that I think would match the color tone of the font, which is white or light. So let's just see dark theme. And then I could modify the blocks that I want for this theme. So I don't like this one, I'll delete that. I don't like this one, I'll delete that. Because I don't like the white ones, I wanna focus more on the dark colored backgrounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search here into the library section on the left and I'm going to choose for dark colored themes that I would like to insert into my existing theme that I have just edited. So let's say this one, and let's say, let's choose another one. So now I have all these images right here. What I can do is I can delete some, and then I can rearrange them the way I want. Now, if you're happy with how your theme looks like by the individual web blocks, I'm okay with this. If you'd like to add more, you can. Like I added one more and clicked on it. And if you don't like, or if it's actually up to you. So what I did was I just added a few and I click save theme right after. Once the theme is saved, you need to click on my designs Hover over to Backgrounds, then click on Themes, and then you could click on that and click on Download. So now you have downloaded that theme into your local drive. Then click on that, 
open it and you could see a succession of different backgrounds or blocks in your theme that you could use on ClickFunnels. So let's start. The first here section that you could see is the one on top. I'll hover over to settings, click on that gear icon, and then click on the BG image icon. Then I will select the first one in the theme. I will drag and drop BG0. I will click on add image. As you can see, the background has changed. I will repeat the same thing for the different sections. Now, if you feel that the background is too small for your entire section, all you need to do is click on section and then you could either full center parallax or fit 100% width. You can play around with it and see if any of the images look stretched. But let's try the others. So this looks completely fine. It does not look stretched whatsoever. Next, in this part, it's actually a light background. So I would leave it as is just because the color of the font is light. In this section right here, I can click on settings again, click on the second part of the theme, drag it, wait for it to load, and then click on add image. Now this image right here is not a background, it is actually just an image or a standalone image in the website or on the page, so we will leave it there. But as you can see, this is the background and let's go ahead and click on full 100% width and height. Now you can see the effects on the right. Let's repeat the same process for this. And there you have it. It's actually nice because it looks really, really good. It's not stretched and the effects look perfect. As you can see, it's one continuous um, background. I think it looks really nice because it looks very uniform and at the same time it flows well. So if for some reason you want to change this background as well, then you could go ahead and choose whatever font or whatever color you want and then just change the font color because in this case I have different font colors. So let me go ahead and choose white. Now we have everything in white and let's choose a different one. Click on add image. So now I have BG2 and it looks like this. Now that we've added this background color right here, let's go ahead and modify that even more by clicking on fill 100%. There, it's actually complete. So the exact image that I chose is right here. If you want to save it, go ahead and click on save just so that you won't lose any of the progress that you've made so far. And let's click on preview just to take a look at how our funnel page looks like. Now all the backgrounds that I've chosen from the theme that I have downloaded, they're right here on the page. Now another one that you could do with design pages is actually, let's go ahead to templates, is actually the illustrations and annotations. So the illustrations and annotations are perfect if you are creating a web page, just because there are some portions of your web page that you would like to use or you would like to explain more to your audience. So example, I would use this one, illustration one, and then I would like to export it, export it right there. And if I would like to choose another illustration, this one, because illustrations like these are very popular for vectors and for websites as well. So you don't need to create your own cartoon, you don't need to pay for other very expensive stock images or stock vectors. All you need to do is just load it into your Click Designs dashboard and on your editor and make some personalizations or customize whatever you would like. So let me go ahead and exit that and let's go ahead and choose another illustration. There you go. So I've chosen this illustration and aside from that, if I feel that this is not enough or I feel like I want to add our logo or somewhere else, 
I could add our own logo by uploading our own logo right here on this section. After you have exported your illustrations, you could also play around with some annotations. Just click on templates and look for the annotation section. Click on that and choose an annotation that you would like to use for your website or for your funnel. So for example, I would like this one. I just need to type in a file name. Right after that, continue and make some modifications or make some personalizations or customizations here. Then when you're done, go ahead and export. Let's click on exit and then let's add another annotation. I would not edit or personalize this anymore. So what I'm just going to do is I'm gonna export it just for this demonstration. So right after I have exported my annotation into my local drive, I now have my illustrations and my annotations. Now, assuming that I would like to add more. I have emojis that I could use. I have more illustrations, more vectors that I could use here on design pages and here on the library. So all you need to do is just play around in this section right here. On the left, you have annotations that you could use and load into your canvas. You have illustrations that you could use even more because you have design pages. You have more elements to choose from, more icons and more shapes. The idea here is you could use them perfectly for your sales funnel or for your website. Now, if you need a logo or if you need box shots, which I have previously made and I have added on my sales funnel, that's completely fine. You could export your own from your account, you could create one in advance, or you could still continue to create a new one. In this case, I have my mock-up right here. I also have a logo. So if I wanna change this into my own mock-up, I could. Let's go back to Click Designs. Let's click on Exit, and then let's click on Templates. Then let's click on Bundles. Let's choose a bundle that we wanna use. Once it's done loading and once you're done customizing the mock-up, just click on export. So it will download to your local drive. Next, let's look for a logo. Let's go back to templates. Let's click on logo and let's just use any logo right here. So for example, I want this one. I'll just use this and make whatever changes or customizations that you would like with a logo. I will trim the white space. I will choose the DPI and then click on export. So now that I have everything that I need, I will click on exit and then I will go back to ClickFunnels. Here at ClickFunnels, I can make the changes that I would like. So let's go ahead and change the logo. Click on image, look for the logo that you have downloaded in your local drive, drag and drop it here, then click on add image. Then let's change the mockup the device mockup right here. Let's click on that, choose the bundle that we downloaded. And then when it's done loading, we will just click on add image. Let's remove the image width just to make it bigger. These are the box shots that I've created on Click Designs previously that I have added here. So all your box shots, just hover over the image, click on it, the image icon, select from your local drive and drag it there. If you don't know how to add an image, simply hover over the section, click on add element, then click on image. Once you see the demo image, click on that, click on the placeholder icon for the logo or for the image, drag and drop your image right here to upload. Once it's done, click on add image. So that's how you could add the images. For this one, I will delete because I'm not using it. And if I would like to change some of these images into annotations or illustrations, add the image. Same thing for this one. So it looks like that. Let's go to the next one. Click on add image and then just repeat the entire process. So what I'm going to do is I am going to upload everything that I have exported from Click Designs and then I'll just show you how it looks like. Once I'm done making all the changes, all I have to do is click on save and then let's go ahead and preview the page. So this is how our sales funnel looks like, all with the elements used from Click Designs. We have the logo right here. We have the entire background theme made from Click Designs. We also have this device bundle mockup. Then we have the box shots from Click Designs. We have another device bundle mockup right here. 
we have here an annotation, another annotation, an illustration, another illustration, and another illustration. And then also these are box shots as well. So this is how your sales funnel would look like with the help of all the click designs elements. It's really up to you because it depends on how creative you are and it depends on the overall theme that you would like to achieve from your sales page or from your sales funnel. So it's actually super easy to use click designs with click funnels. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and get started. Happy click designing!